16 points is the halftime lead for the Wright State Raiders on the road here in Detroit. We welcome you back courtside with Mark Adams. Joel Gadek, glad to have you along with us. All Wright State in that first half. Did it with offense, did it with defense, did it with love and Benzinger. Saturday on ESPN, we'll have two great ACC battles. Number 12, North Carolina, and number 8, Virginia in Charlottesville. That's at 1 Eastern. Then in the nightcap at 8, second rank, Duke takes on NC State in Raleigh. Both games also streaming live on the ESPN app. And Saturday at noon Eastern on ESPN2 and the ESPN app, we'll have the FCS championship game between North Dakota State and James Madison. The JMU Dukes, the defending champions, the Bison winning five straight titles from 2011 to 2015. Mark, you talked about Motown in the open. You want a great country music name? How about North Dakota State quarterback Easton Stick? That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Guitar, football? Yeah, I get it. I'm a big, I'm a music guy. <laughs> Sam Hunt was the I mean, quarterback I mean, at UAB. I, mean, I brought up Bruno Mars, <laughs> James Brown, and Blake Shelton. All on one game open. Who's done that? He's hip with the kids, folks. <laughs> well, yeah, right. <laughs> James Brown. <laughs> <laughs> well, at, you know, at, at a time, yes. Yeah. 15 all, Wright State and Detroit Mercy. And a foul right out of the timeout. Right I'm anxious to see North Carolina, Virginia. Kind of like this game where you got get up and down, Tar Heels, Joe Barry leading the break, Theo Pinson is a great finisher, Luke May is having a great season. And Virginia who just locked, I mean, they went into Blacksburg and just locked up Buzz and, and Virginia Tech. Their defense is stifling under Tony Bennett. Held ball will keep it here with Wright State. That foul was on Blackshear, by the way. He checked into the game. And in two seconds, a moving screen. But he does jar this one loose. There's loud love played a little football in high school. In fact, he suffered a late season injury, which really held him back from his football and basketball career. He's full time basketball now. Still not afraid to get on the floor for a loose ball. Loud and love tore his ACL, the last football play he ever played, at least for now in his life. This is why you don't throw it to your tackles. It was a hook and ladder. <laughs> Whoops. How do you think that discussion went between the football coach and the basketball coach? Uh, probably not very well, but Loudon Love has recovered well, and he's so athletic. I got a chance to go to the Wright State Camps, a beautiful practice facility, by the way, and watch him. I mean, he takes every pass, every possession, every time he's on the floor. He takes it very seriously. In fact, maybe a little bit too seriously at times because he's so hard on himself, but he's going to be a tremendous player. Here's Blackshear against Ernsthausen. And Gerald Blackshear gets himself in the scoring column. He's a guy who's been in and out of the lineup for Bakari Alexander this season. He's an energizer guy. You love guys that understand their role and bring it off the bench. And Gerald Blackshear, number 25 for Detroit Mercy, doing that tonight. Back into Loud and Love. Good pass. Rising Hall. And Love with the rebound. And the kick. And Hughes just can't give him the assist. You know, I had an offensive line coach tell me once, he doesn't coach overweight people on the offensive line. He coaches big athletes. Yeah, really Loudon lo loves a big athlete. He really is. Really big, really athletic. He dunks everything. They're going to need a new backboard <laughs> at Wright State. I'm telling you, he punishes the rim. Gentry. Gentry. He might dunk something with the hops and the speed like that. He'll dunk a donut. <laughs> Jackson. He's not going to dunk a basketball. He's listed at 5'10", folks. That's probably generous, but a really good floor general understands they don't beat Georgia Tech without Cole Gentry. And that was when he was just back to the lineup, by the way. Transferred from South Dakota State, recruited by Scott Nagy there, and followed him to Dayton. The Wright State plays with a different level of confidence when number 31, Cole Gentry, has the basketball in his hands, and he's running the show, inserted in the starting lineup for the first time this season tonight. Sat out his first year at South Dakota State, played 10 games first semester of his second year, then a mid-year transfer, so 10 games in two and a half years before he became eligible just last month at Wright State. Detroit, eight of 17 from the floor, keeps that alive. Great rotation. That's out of bounds, last touch by Winchester. No panic, Fortishoot. 
I just like the way Wright State is always in a stance and always reacting to the ball and where everybody else, they rotate as well as anybody around. Jackson lost it. It'll still stay with Detroit Mercy. Mark, what do you draw up with two on the shot clock? Something for a really good score. <laughs> they got 6'8", Cole Long under the rim. He's 11 in gray. And an illegal screen is not going to get it done. Well, that is Cole Long. Not quite how they drew it up, but that's his first foul. Take a look right there. That's a hip check. Cole Gentry stays active defensively. They're hard to screen as well because they are in a stance. They're so active with their footwork. He's already got three threes, and Man. Bensinger is on fire. Grant Bensinger, 12 points in the first 12 minutes. He can score in bunches. 32 is his career high. And then a charge taken on the other end by Ernst Housen. They do the nitty gritty. They step in front. They dive on loose balls. You know, but the, the, the key thing is why. They're always in a stance. They're always wide. They have good vision. They get into help side position. They see ball man. They react to the basketball out of the fingertips. They don't like to see where it goes. As soon as it leaves the passer's hands, they go a little back cut right there. Nice, nicely done. Bensinger feeling it with a foul. Grant Bensinger. That's his fifth from deep, and he might get four. This is what Scott Nagy's teams do. They recognize who's hot, and they give him the basketball. I mean, Grant Benziger, how many touches has he had over the last five minutes of this game? Every possession, he's getting the basketball. Early in the game, it was loud and love. Touch after touch, score after score. Now they're giving it to him because he's hot. That is smart basketball. That's Scott Nagy basketball for Wright State. Season high, five made threes with 8-11 to go in the first. Sixth time this year, he's made at least four. And Bensinger has 16 points. He is exactly halfway to the career high. Hey, Joe, how many times do you see a guy get hot, and then it's like he disappears. Teammates don't even recognize him anymore. It's a great way to lose. Well, you can lead a horse to water, right? Yeah. Here comes Mitchell. Wright State's comfortable running. Just a little too strong on the glass. And it's interesting watching Detroit Mercy have to play offense in the half court. And that's all they've done this entire first half. They have not done any breakout 94 foot game situations at all. Out of bounds, it'll stay with Detroit, but Grant Benzinger, 16 points, fire. Grant Benzinger, you know I'm a Cincinnati Reds fan. I kind of like that Benzinger name. <laughs>